Welcome to Kauffman Museum, located on the campus of Bethel College in North Newton, Kansas. Here you'll see the natural and human history of the Great Plains as experienced by the Mennonite immigrant people. The logo of the museum represents a K and an M in shapes which suggest the organic forms of the prairie and the linear designs of human life. The permanent exhibit of Land and People features seven major themes. All themes relate to each other and may be seen in any sequence. The prairie grasslands of the central United States are the source of life for both natural and human communities. Plants and animals must adapt to the harsh prairie environment. Hot and cold temperatures, wind, rain, drought, and fire. The tall grass prairie reconstruction shows the astonishing diversity and beauty of plant life. 16 species of native grasses and over 120 species of wildflowers. The prairie is also home to insects, birds, and small animals. No member of the prairie community can exist alone. All are linked together. Native Americans are the original prairie people. Stone tools and pottery fragments found near the museum reveal hunting and farming here as early as 2,000 years ago. Coffin Museum tells the story of the Cheyenne people or the Tsitsistas. By 1869, the United States government forced them out of their historic lands to live on reservations in Oklahoma and Montana. They survive as a people with a rich heritage. The changing frontier brought new settlers to the prairie, including Europeans immigrating for reasons of faith and livelihood. In the 1870s, by invitation of the Santa Fe Railroad, Mennonites came from Russia, Germany, and the eastern United States. They came in pursuit of religious freedom especially to be free from military conscription. They dug wells, built homes, barns, and windmills. They plowed the prairie, sowed turkey-red wheat, planted hedges, and orchards. They surveyed the land and built towns, churches, and Bethel College. Most immigrants were farmers and lived off the land. They changed the prairie by using the grasslands for ranching cattle and by breaking the prairie earth to plant crops. The soil yielded only to the steel sodbuster plow produced by the Industrial Revolution. New technologies included the McCormick Reaper, the rotary cylinder thresher, and the steel roller mill. With hard red winter wheat brought from South Russia, immigrant farmers transformed the prairie into the breadbasket of the world. Mennonite farmers shipped their surplus grain and beef around the world to feed the hungry. The home is central to the life of the family. The log cabin in Saudi provided temporary shelter, but soon a more comfortable home was built. Furnishings were purchased to express the family's values and material status. Women prepared and served food. Children played with toys that imitated the work of their mothers and fathers. Men used their skills in workshops to build and maintain the home and the farmstead. The Mennonites are named after Menno Simons, a 16th century Dutch Anabaptist. Mennonites spread from Switzerland and the Netherlands throughout Northern Europe. They were people of the cities, mountains, lowlands, and steppes. As Christians, Mennonites believe in adult baptism, non-resistance, and the separation of church and state. In Europe, where the ruler dictated the religion of the land, Mennonites were persecuted and even executed for their faith. Mennonites continue to worship in congregations and to center their Christian faith in a life of discipleship and caring for others. Encounters with other world cultures have shaped Mennonite society and given it a global perspective. In 1889, Mennonites began mission outreach among the Cheyenne and among the people of India, China, and Central Africa. Kaufman Museum also features special collections the Mirror of the Martyrs tells the story of Christians who died for their faith, from the early church to 16th century Anabaptists. The exhibition asks the question, who are the martyrs today? Mirror of the Martyrs has traveled to 22 states and five Canadian provinces. A special gallery presents Mennonite furniture from the Vistula Delta tradition, furniture that was handmade and hand-decorated. Included in this Save America's Treasures collection, our dowry chests and cradles from Europe, and wardrobes and cabinets built on the plains of Kansas. A study collection highlights the Charles Kaufman exhibits of birds and animals 
and his hand-carved miniature dioramas. A highlight of the collections is a rare cabinet organ built in 1750 by Jakob Teschemacher of Wuppertal, Germany, for Johannes Decknadel, a Mennonite pastor in Amsterdam. The organ was restored to its full musical potential in 2007. On the museum grounds, historic farm buildings convey a glimpse of life on the plains a century ago. There are the Voth Unruh Faust House of 1875, the Ratzliff Barn of 1886, and the Claussen Windmill of 1900. Volunteers maintain the flower and vegetable gardens, sharing beauty and seasonal produce. Coffin Museum began in 1896 as the Bethel College Museum of Natural History and American Relics. The teaching collections grew substantially when Charles Kaufman brought his collections from South Dakota. Kaufman Museum at Bethel College opened to the public in 1941. Charles and his wife Fanny developed the museum into a collection numbering 30,000 artifacts and specimens. In 1983, Kaufman Museum opened the doors to a new interpretation building, followed in 1987 by the permanent exhibit of Land and People. The museum staff organized changing, special exhibitions that complement and expand the themes of the Kaufman Museum collections. Today, Friends of Kaufman Museum continue to preserve their heritage by joining the Museum Association, by donating important artifacts to the museum, and by serving as volunteers to greet and guide visitors. Every year, Kaufman Museum hosts thousands of schoolchildren in programs that meet Kansas curriculum standards. The museum provides learning opportunities for all ages, including Sunday afternoon at the museum programs, educational and adventurous bus tours, Uncle Carl's summer camps for children, and our annual Celebrate Kansas Day. Coffin Museum wishes you an enjoyable exploration of the story of land and people.